Let's take a look at the Berkey Light water filter. There's several parts to the Berkey filter. Is we're going to just give them a quick overview real quick. We have the base, have the water spigot, we have the holding tank, we have the two elements up there at the top, we have the top tank, and then we have the cap for the lid up there at the very top. What we're going to be doing is going over the different parts of the Berkey filter and talking about them. Let's start off with the top section of the Berkey filter and Let's start off at the very top, is that you have a cloth lid that goes on the top of the filter and has a little grab handle that you grab, pull it off, pour the water in the top, and then you put it back on. Once the water is poured in the top, and you can see the two holes down there in the bottom. Let's turn this over so we can get a better look at them. There's just a couple of holes drilled in the bottom, and that's where the filters go. It's got I guess a vent hole right here so if you have the cover on that it has a place to pour air from these are the filters they have a threaded part right there with a cap and a o-ring heavy o-ring plastic washer rubber washer more like rubber instead of plastic right there and right there each filter has a rating of about 3,000 gallons that means that these two filters would put out approximately 6,000 gallons combined and that once installed the filters have a rating of about 3.75 gallons per hour because they use a gravity gravity flow. You just pour the water in the top and then the water seeps through the two filters. And here we see the filter. I took the o-ring seal off just for show, just for display. I'm going to slide that back on. And to install the filter, we just insert it through the hole and then install the threaded cap. And both filters have been installed. See the threaded cap holding them in place. Whoops. And that's what they look like from the top down. The next thing we're going to do is install the spigot, or what some people might call the faucet. So we have a threaded end cap with two o ring seals and a lift handle to, for the water to go out of. There's the spigot installed and as you can see it's just got a threaded nut with the o-ring seal on the inside and the other washer is visible on the outside. Well there's one more part to this filter that we need to discuss and that's the base. That's what it sits on. You can either get it up off the cabinet and let it sit on the base or you can just set it straight down on the cabinet or the table. This top reservoir has a lip on it and we're going to rotate the filters away from the spigot. Notice the spigot's on this side, filters are on that side. Then the lip just slips down inside that bottom reservoir. I think the, I think the bottom reservoir holds something like two and a half gallons of water and it has a, I think a rate of 3.75 gallons per hour and each filter can filter at approximately 3,000 gallons. But working together or, uh, doing half the load, that means that this filter should be able to purify, filter approximately 6,000 gallons of water. And we have the assembled unit. We have the base, the spigot, the holding reservoir, and the two filters up on top. And then the top one up here, and then the top cap. Total assembly time about five to ten minutes if you read the directions.